Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. It's going to be a hot one. Hotter than yesterday, Candy. Yeah. You know, we're planning a, maybe a long getaway, Brian and I. We've been looking all around. Where should we go? I think we're going up to, like, the Great Lakes where it's cooler. Yeah, by the water. Why not? Yeah, yeah. I think that's where the direction we're headed. That's nice. Nice little drive. Yes. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, Candy. Yes, it's a little cooler, and we're not fighting the crowds. Good. When is this plan happening? I don't have it exactly. I, I want to say sometime in August. All right, good. I'm excited for we're you. We're looking all around. I'm excited for you. It's, it's yeah. important. Take those vacations, Candy. Absolutely. This is, uh, you know, look, I learned a lot of great things from my parents. One of the greatest, if not the greatest... Uh, is take the vacations with the family. That is what you're going to remember the most, Candy. Well, it's true. We didn't have a lot of vacation in my family growing up, but we did a lot of things, you know, different things that always stick with you. My kids, we used to rent a house down the shore, and, you know, every year we loved it, and it was very happy memories. Oh, you, you, you owned a house on the shore? Or? Didn't own it. We rent the same house. We rented it, oh, I'm going to say maybe five years in a row. Um, we had the bay on one side, the ocean on the other. Uh, we did everything. The kids loved it. it right, was but great. see, to me, that's vacation. Yeah. That, like, even if you go back to the same place, like when I go to Delaware, yeah. that's vacation. That's Candy. right. I didn't have a mother-in-law, you know, cooking for me and all of that, but it was still <laughs> a great deal of fun. Well, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to make mention of this because we will not be on the air tomorrow. Well, I'll be on the air, but the Fat Head and Candy show will not no, be on the air. I will not be here. Tomorrow is the 25th anniversary of TWA Flight 800, Candy. Yeah, that was a big, big, horrible situation. Yeah, now... I was uh, doing television back in the day when, okay. that, when that occurred, and I got a call about 2.30 in the morning, uh, something like that, and yeah, it was a very big deal, Now, obviously. Yeah, I mean, everyone listening, I mean, knows the story. We're not going to go into great detail, especially because, I, you know, I have to say, there's a lot of people who listen to our station who are still, to this day, affected by what happened that day. Um, so, you know, we're all affected, but some people are very close to the accident, whether you knew a loved one on the airplane. I believe 230 souls died yeah. that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. we had a lot of first responders go out oh, there, yeah. too. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, don't want to get too deep into it, but I will make, I wanted to make mention, I wanted to let people who, where, you know, when, when this, uh, they think about it all the time anyway, but when this anniversary creeps up every year, it really affects them. I wanted the, them to know that we are thinking about them, Candy. Yes, no question. And on another note about the TWA accident, it really changed the way we investigate, uh, airline disasters and the way we go about things in that industry it was yeah. it was groundbreaking really it was it was because a lot of people there's still conspiracy theories a lot there of people are so you know, many theories what happened i yeah. agree yeah and do we really truly know I'm no not sure. no you'll never but know you know they did take the pieces and built it back together again in some hangar where they did a lot of investigation that must have been really rough and now the obviously everything's over so they will be getting rid of that. It's it, it's crazy. There's a hangar with the, what's left of the plane all put together. Again. Yeah, the re I mean, you can see pictures all over yeah, the internet. It's of, crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, they stored at the Calverton Executive uh, Air Park by yeah. the NTSB, uh, and uh, but yes, the official terminology for the disaster. Even though there are conspiracies about other things, they officially said it was due to. Fuel tank explosion caused by a short circuit, but so a lot of people don't believe that, Candy. No, so. a lot of people believe maybe uh, it was an accident that the military was doing some sort of thing. Who knows? Yeah, we don't know. Uh, but anyway, we're thinking about those who were affected by no that, No question Candy. about it. Very sad. Uh, in lighter news, uh, we do have just a couple of national days for you. It is National Corn Fritter Day today. I love a corn fritter. Now, what is that just like breaded uh, kind of? It's kinda... sort of like, uh, you know, like a potato pancake. It's like a corn pancake. It's mm. along those lines. Yeah. Yeah. That is wonderful. Yeah, it's delicious. And today is National Personal Chef's Day today. Oh, I have one. Oh, he's still sleeping. <laughs> so let's give thanks to not only all the personal chefs, but I would like to say on behalf of the Fathead and Candy Show, 
uh, if there are personal chefs in the audience that do this for a living. We would love to uh, taste test anything you are trying. That's right. If you'd like to test anything on us, new recipes, whatever. We are the show to go to. We are here. There's one thing you and I know. It's food. That's correct. So we're ready for you. There's your uh, national days. And big shout out to the personal chefs. Uh, Candy, you see the story about the father in China who found his kidnapped son from 24 years ago? Never gave up hope for one second. Search for him for 24 years. DNA test. DNA proved it. And, yeah, they are reunited. That just shows you never give up hope. Never. Great video on TikTok of four. So emotional. It was emotional. Um, there's another one of four kids in Texas uh, wearing uh, four different T-shirts that say, Will you adopt us? And they uh, they blindfolded their stepdad and showed it to him on Father's Day last month, Candy. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Uh, 65-year-old in Iowa, Mark Mueller, Back in 1994, decided to get back in shape. And in 27 years, even with COVID back in January, he has now worked out for 10,000 days in a row, Candy. Wow. I'm yeah. impressed. I mean, I can't even uh, imagine uh, uh, working for more than three months without a vacation, Candy. How, I you, understand. Working you're, you're out. going to the gym every day and doing, uh, you know, all sorts of things. 10,000 days in a row. That's that's determination. That I like that. And I'm going to leave you with this one. An animal hospital in Massachusetts rescued a goose with a broken foot from a pond. Oh. Well, there was another goose, his girlfriend, who refused to leave his side. I love that. They were prepping the goose for surgery and heard a tap at the door. Okay, I can't take this. It was the girl goose trying oh. to break into the clinic. Oh, that so, is the best. You know, they do make for life. At least I heard that anyway. After the surgery, they put the boy goose next to a glass so the girl goose could look through the glass. She's waiting there for him to recover. That and is the most endearing thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> they can waddle off. I love off. that. They'll be able to waddle off together, Candy. Into the sunset. That's love. Is there more of a beautiful way to end the week? There is nothing more beautiful than that. I feel like that story was built for you. It was. It's A+. plus. I love it. Mm. Love is the only thing we have to get That's in this right. life that counts. There you go. We're so inspirational today, I, I think. I know. Wow. Even <laughs> my own self goosebumps. <laughs> All right. So here's the uh, wrap-up. Candy has no plans this weekend. The way I like it. Right. I will be out uh, tomorrow. I'll be on the radio uh, tomorrow and then My Country Live Saturday night. But uh, I will be out tomorrow 11 to 1 at the big 40th anniversary of Ocean Spray Hot Tubs and Saunas in West Hampton Beach, right on Riverhead Road, uh, just past the railroad tracks, depending on which side you're coming from. Exit 63 South off Sunrise. 10 to 5 is the whole thing. Food, games, Sales. I mean, it's great, Candy. It's great. Yes, I love it. I love it. We'll be out there. All right. Everyone have a wonderful weekend, Candy. We shall reconvene on Will Monday. Will you be wearing that towel, that wet towel on your head when you're at the remote? Uh, I'm not going to wear the wet towel. I will be under our tent. Um, I will have my baseball cap on, and we'll go from there. I'll take breaks and go inside. I'll have a nice big bottle of water with me, and we'll be good. Be good to go. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to worry about you this weekend. I don't no. want to do anything. No, no. You'll be you'll be fine. You'll be the All big right, the big show will be after Ocean Spray. What I do to cool down and relax when I get home. That is a show people would want to see. Well, Kitty. you're gonna take a cool shower and put on shorts and a t-shirt and and, and lay in your lounge chair and watch Netflix. That's we all know this. Pretty much what's gonna happen. Yeah. Come on. We yeah. know you. Maybe order some sushi. We'll see, Candy. Maybe. Oh, that's different. <laughs> we'll see. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.